Dart180.com. Welcome back to the Dart Shopping Network. I'm Tony Dart and we've got some January sales extravaganza deals for you. We make regular Dart retailers look as redundant as Michael Van Gerwen's comb and we're going to get straight into it with this lovely Gary Anderson calendar. Now, it is from 2013 so you have to change all the days around so it fits for 2015 but I'm sure you'll see that that's reflected in our heavily discounted price and when you see the quality of the pictures you'll see that it really really is lovely. Now, look at some of these we've got. Uh, my particular favourite is March, we'll come to that in a second, but uh, February, there he is, with a little bow and arrow, like a little little Scottish Cupid, how lovely does he look there. Uh, October for Halloween, here he is wrestling with a, a scary monster, that'll put the willies up here, but don't worry, Gary's got a bit of headlock, it certainly makes me feel safe and secure. But my favourite, is, as I mentioned, is uh, March. Now look at this, Gary on a lovely picnic in the park and it seems all he's brought with him is a load of alcohol, a, a fake rabbit and an actual rabbit. I don't know what sort of dish that is, something Scottish I'm unaware of. Anyway, you'll see it's a lovely piece, but just look at the quality of that. Anyway, we're going to move swiftly on. Now, lo lovely Daniela is with us, as always. Daniela, we've just got this that she's modelling here. It's the Andy the Pie Man Smith Keep Fit DVD. If you're trying to shift a few of those extra pounds you picked up over Christmas or maybe over the World Championships in the Fans Village, not me of course, or indeed Daniela, I uh, saw her eating a bit of lettuce earlier, that'll see you through till next week now, won't yep. it? Yes it will. Uh, anyway, uh, the Paman DVD, I've not seen it. Uh, Daniela, does it say anything on the back there about what uh, exercises no. it take? Nothing at all. No. Uh, What's the sort of running time? How long does it last? Uh, oh, I think it's about two minutes, this one. Two minutes. Two minutes. It must be a, a very intense workout. Now, we've got a very special, special... Oh, this is, this is quite wonderful. Uh, over here, now, don't get it out of the box, Daniela. It's, it's an antique. We're not actually allowed to take it out of the box, but it's a special piece of darts memorabilia. Rod Harrington's bottle. Now, you can imagine, it's legendary stuff. Uh, world number one, of course, former uh, two-time world match player winner. Very impressive, isn't it? Carry on, Daniela. Uh, now, Rod Harrington's bottle, a very, very special discounted price for you. But, you know, it's not been used for quite some time. It has to say, it's not been involved in the game, certainly playing. It's more of a different bottle that Mr. Harrington's associated with nowadays, isn't it, Daniela? It's like I always say, Rod on the wine is all mine, all mine. Rod on the wine is all mine. You said you'd carry on. You'd join in with that, didn't you? <laughs> and you've not. You've hung me out to dry. Sorry. Yeah. We'll be back after these messages. I know you're gay. Welcome to On The Wire from the William Hill World Darts Championship. I'm Dan Dawson. Alongside me, as always, is Rod Harrington. And Sid, the trophy, if you might be able to see it, I don't know, that is a lip mark on Sid there that Raymond van Barneveld planted on him not two minutes ago. He says he's one step closer to winning that. We'll get around to Raymond van Barneveld's game in a moment. Phenomenal night of action, Rod. Uh, Phil Taylor, first off, surviving a huge scare against Vincent van der Voort. There was one section of that match where Vincent rattled off nine out of 11 legs to go 3-2 up in sets. He was 96 points away from a 4-2 lead. The power just about getting the job done. Uh, I spoke to him afterwards when we didn't know who he'd be facing in the semi-final. Raymond van Barneveld or Stephen Bunting? It doesn't matter. I think Barney could do a job, but Stephen Bunting could do a job. It really doesn't make any difference. Do you have to improve your level of performance yes, from tonight, Phil? Yes, I've got to improve a lot, yeah, and I will do. How do you do that? Go home now, stop talking to people like you and get practising on the dartboard. All right, you are, Phil. And get some advice off Barry Hearn. Thank you very much, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, well, I did take some advice from Barry Hearn. He said, uh, go away. Anyway, Phil Taylor... He was made to work hard for that. He was, and I think at one time he might have started doubting his new darts and the grip, because the darts were going a little bit on the slide. And that 96, when uh, Vincent looks at that, he will look at that 96 and, and perhaps go, do you know what, that may be the best chance of me lifting this trophy. Because if he'd have beaten Phil Taylor, he'd have gone four sets to two up. You know, the way he was playing, he would have probably gone on and won it. And by beating Phil Taylor, that confidence he would have had would have really pushed him on for this. So, you know, minor things in this game can cost you. Yeah, I, I spoke to Phil and I said to him, you're not on top form at the minute, are you? And he said, no, I'm not. I definitely will be for the semi-finals. Is that just bluster? 
Yeah, never can tell with Phil. I mean, I don't think he should have changed his darts, but who am I to say? Because Phil does it all the time and turns up and just does everything. Um, but he still had over the 100 average. Um, and when you think of that, it just means that his opponent to beat him has got to play exceptional. Now, Vincent van der Voort did at times, but then he went off the boil. And with Phil Taylor, his heartbeat of, of form stays there. So if you're going to keep doing this, you're not going to win these here. And uh, that's that simple. Well, look, Phil Taylor's through to the semi-finals. He's going to face Raymond Van Barneveld. It's another Taylor-Barney clash. Barney beating Stephen Bunting in a deciding set. Phenomenal game of darts. Never more than a set in it. Uh, we spoke to Barney afterwards. I'm proud. I'm still proud to be there. You know, look, look, look at this crowd. You know, they're cheering your name everywhere I come. It's always the Barney army, you know. And, uh, and I was fighting. I was fighting for myself, for my wife, for my family, for Holland for England, for UK, for Europe, for the world, and I'm still there. <laughs> so, Barney winning it for the world, the UK, the universe, everybody. Uh, it worked for him, so I'm just going to have these on halfway through the show. Uh, it was belief, it was laughing, it was, ju it was just a bit weird at times. So what did you make of it? Barney's in a very comfortable position at the moment. We know how what a great player he is. He's a five times world champion. The only one who beats him beats Raymond up is himself. So when Raymond's smiling, he can't beat himself up. So he just stands back and he's been smiling. He's been doing it all week. And tonight, again, you know, it didn't matter that he was behind in the early part of the game. And he just take out shots. You see what he did when he took out the one, two, four? As he let go, he was grinning like that. I thought, I mean, the Cheshire cat don't grin that much. Yeah, you even and gave it, it a big A.D. Lewis shrug as I well. Know, Unreal. I know. I know. It, it, was, it was great. It's always great to see Barney happy because he, when he's happy, you know you're going to get a good Raymond van Barneveld. He did it in the Premier League, he did it when he won the Grand Slam, and he's very precise, that lovely throw. When that becomes really precise, um, then anything can happen. Well, look, let's get straight on to talking about uh, the next day's action, the semi-finals. We'll start with that Barney-Taylor clash. Barney's played brilliantly there to beat Stephen Bunting, whom he said some really nice things about, and all of it completely justified. Uh, but is he playing well enough to topple the power? Not on those performances. He's got to up his percentage on the doubles a little bit, and he's he's scoring power by about three or four points. Because, like I said, you know Phil Taylor's firing in at 102. You know he's going to step it up against Barney again tomorrow. He knows what Barney can do. The clashes they've had over the years is, is is unbelievable. So Barney's got to step it up a little bit. He can't let Phil Taylor get in front. I mean, admittedly, like. Van der Voort, if he can fire back like Van der Voort did, then Barney's got that extreme bottle to actually finish Phil off. But he must not let get Phil in front, and he's just got up his scoring a little bit. Well, look, that's like Dart's version of El Clasico, and just imagine how good a tie has to be to pretty much upstage it. The one I really cannot wait to see. Michael Van Gerwen, Gary Anderson, how does this go? I mean, is this 105 averages for the pair of them and just going mental with 180s and big finishes? Oh, this is like the OK Corral and the White Earp and all of them are there. I'm telling you, this Billy the Kid, there's even John Wayne going to turn up for this one. I'm telling you, this is going to be incredible. The amount of 180s, um, if they play like they did, they both did last night, it, it, I mean, we keep saying it could be the best game ever, but it could be. I mean, Van Gerwen, his first three sets were unbelievable. Anderson has played brilliant now for for at least two or three months, you know, he won the Tour Players Championships. He was my hot tip, take notes of this mug. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm so looking forward to it. You know, you, in Barney and Fu, you've got two players that are so precise with their throw. In Van Gerwen and Anderson, they can throw them left-handed. They're just doing this. <laughs> you know, you think, if they throwing four darts? Because they're throwing them so quick. So looking forward to it. Yeah, we're down to four players, four absolutely top quality players right there. We've got two more days of action at the William Hill World Darts Championship. I can barely see having worn those for a couple of minutes. We will be back at the conclusion of the semi-finals. Mm -hmm.